Hello, everybody. My name is Karagova Miriam, and I'm a teacher of Satkanbai Kentishev Memorial Asian Medical Institute, and I will teach you Latin language. Satkanbai Kentishev Memorial Asian Medical Institute provides you a perfect opportunity to get high quality education. In our institute, you will be taught by highly qualified teachers. And uh, teachers in our institute uh, are guided by ideology of pure and high quality education. Because we as teachers and our students as future doctors must realize how uh, future profession of doctor is difficult and responsible. And uh, if you want to make a good doctor in the future, you must work hard now. You must study well. Because on quality of your skills and knowledge will depend the most precious your patients have, which is their lives and health. Okay, uh, let's start our Latin lesson. And today, I'm teaching you how to construct nominativus pluralis of nouns. You know that Latin noun has three grammatical categories, genus, numerus, and casus. According to the second category, numerus, category of number, nouns can have two number forms, singularis, all Latin nouns are given in this form, and pluralis. This form must be constructed by changing singular endings to plural endings. And today we will discuss this process. For constructing plural form of the first, second, fourth, and fifth declension nouns, we just change singular form endings to plural form endings. Let's see how to do it. In first declension ending A, we change to ending E for contracting genitives. So, vertebra, pluralis vertebrae. In second declension masculinum, us R endings, we change to E. So, bronchus, pluralis bronchi, and cancer, pluralis cancri. In second declension ending um and on, we change to ending a. So, bacterium, nominativus pluralis, bacteria, ganglion, ganglia. In uh, fourth declension masculinum, endings are us, us. So, ductus, ductus, singular, and plural forms are same. In fourth declension neutrum ending u, we change to ua. For constructing nominatives pluralis. So, genu, ni, genua, nis. So, in fifth declension, ending s has no changes in name, so singular and plural forms are said. Fatsis, fatsi. Everything is more complicated when we have third declension nouns. For constructing their nominatives pluralis form, first we need to indicate stem and type of stem. After we just look which gender noun is, which type stem is, and according to these two specific features, we choose appropriate pluralis ending and add this ending to the stem of noun. So, first step is indicating stem and type of stem. For indicating type of stem or in stem and type of stem, first we need to construct genitive form of third declension noun, then remove ending is, and the main part will be indicated as stem. You know this process from our previous classes. So in uh, third declension masculinum, uh, flows, genitive form will be floris. You will remove ending is, stem will be flor. Same like in other nouns also, polyx, polyxis, stem, polyc, homo, hominis, stem, homin, pulmo, pulmonis, stem, pulmon, pares, paretis, stem, parier, pes, pedis, stem, ped, venter, ventris, stem, venter, 
woman. Woman is stem woman. In third declension feminine nouns, cavitas, genitivus form cavitatis, stem cavitat. Pubes, pubis, stem pub. Magnitudo, magnitudinis, stem magnitudin. Regio, stem region. Pars, stem part. Frons, stem front. Lux, stem look. Salus, stem salut. Phalanx, stem phalang. Calx, stem calc. Auris, stem aur. And iridis, stem irid. In third declension, neutral nouns, abdomen, for example, genitivus form will be abdomen is. We remove ending is, and stem will be abdomen. Coma, comatis, stem, comat. Animal, animalis, stem, animal. Calcar, calcaris, stem, calcar. Caput, capitis, stem, capit. Rete, retis, stem, ret. Femur, femoris, stem, femur. Sulfur, sulfuris, stem, sulfur. Corpus, corporis, stem, corpor. Glomus, glomeris, stem, glomus. So uh, we already indicated stems of third declension nouns. Next step is to indicate type of stem. You know that there are three types of stems. Consonant type stem, which are ending with one consonant. Vowel type stem, which are ending with I, R. And mixed type stem, which are ending with two or more consonants. So go, go back to our third declension nouns. Floor. And then we see consonant R. So it is consonant type. Polic. Consonant. Vomin. Consonant. Pulmon. Consonant. Ventr. And the R. Three consonant sounds. So mixed type. Vomer. Ending R. Wow, that. In femininum, cavitat, poop, magnitudin, region are consonant type stems, part and front. And then we can see two consonants. It will be mixed type stems. Look, salute, again consonant type stem. Phalang, calc, mixed type stems. Our, irid, consonant type stems because they are ending with one consonant. In neutrum, abdomen ending N, one consonant, it is consonant type. Comat, also consonant type. Animal ending I shows that it is vowel type stem. Calcar consonant, capit, red, femur, uh, sulfur, and corpor are also consonant type stems because all of them end with one consonant. But glomer ending with R. Which type stem it is? Yes, it is vowel type stem. Because according to uh, definition of stems, you know that stems ending with al, er, are vowel type stems. Like animal ending with al, glomer ending with er, vowel types. So we already indicated stems and now we can add pluralis ending to the stem in order to construct nominativus pluralis form of nouns. So for masculinum nouns, we use structure stem plus s. And pluralis form, so we will be flores, flowers, polices, thumbs, homines, people, pulmones, lungs, parietes, parts, Pedes, uh, feet, and ventres, and vomeres. In femininum form, again, stem plus S structure is used. So, cavitates, pubes, magnitudines, regiones, partes, frontes, luces, salutes, phalanges, calces, aures, and irides. In third declension neutrum, we have different uh, st structures. For consonant type stems, we use structure stem plus a ending. For vowel type stems, we use structure stem plus ia. And for mixed type stems, again, 
structure stem plus R. So abdomen, which is consonant type stem, we use structure stem plus R. So abdomen, na, comma, ta. Animal, it is vowel type stem. It means we must use structure stem plus ear. So pluralis will be animalia. Calcara, capita, reta, femora, sulfura, corpora, and glomer. Vowel type we use ending ear. Glomeria. So guys, uh, as you see today, I explained you how to construct the nominativus pluralis form of third declension, nouns and nouns of first, second, fourth and fifth declension. As you see, uh, constructing nominativus pluralis of third declension noun it is very complicated and long process. So that is why watch this video as much as necessary in order to understand this difficult topic. Thank you for attention. Goodbye.